And if I had been of the view that I am today, which is let's be uh, very objective and, and maintain some distance from that thing and discuss it in a way that is it's not mine, I'm not precious, I'm not attached to this thing, um, then yeah. I think it's um, uh, a much more powerful way to approach um, creativity and problem solving. Yeah, I like a lot of what you're saying in there. So you, you've been offered a solution, um, but you found probably that when you cling to that thing, you lose it. But when you let go of it, you find it, right? And so you, you, you really are a conduit. You, you're not necessarily concerned about where that comes from, but you do know that it's kind of been offered to you. And when I look back in history, all, all the, probably the great inventions, I think there's a high correlation between just how, um, I guess today we probably look at them through the lens of history as mildly eccentric individuals are often the ones that create the most amazing things. Like you're, you appreciate fine art. You know, wh where does that stuff come from, right? Like when it's truly, truly creative, it's like a picture almost of somebody who finds a river, then eventually they go to the source, they find a spring. Um, but really it's the one who kind of is willing to dig in a new area on the belief that there might be a spring there that probably gets closest to the true form of wealth and everybody else just kind of feeds off of it. But it gets harder and harder because it probably requires a certain degree of self-confidence, self-awareness to kind of go there.